Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. Okay, so we're inside of our new catalog that we just created, and now we need to actually import or bring our images into Lightroom so that we actually have something to edit. Now, you guys will soon learn, if you haven't already, that inside of Lightroom, there are multiple ways of doing the exact same function. Uh, there are buttons that you can click, there are menu options that you can get to, and there are shortcuts, which all take you to the exact same place. So, to import images, we can either click the button, import, or we can go to, and by the way, the import button is only available from the develop, uh, library module. So if you're in the develop module, it's not going to give you the option to import images. If it actually switches over, there we go. So you'll see that we don't have the option from here to import images. We can still access from the file menu by saying import photos and video, or we can still use the shortcut, but we don't have the button. Okay, so let's go back to the library module. Let's go to file. You can also import photos and video from this file menu or use the shortcut, which is the easiest way to get there of hitting control shift I, which I'm going to do now. Okay. So let's go over the basics of the import dialog box. Now it looks kind of complicated, but it's actually fairly simple. We're going to go through the basics on this one in the next uh, video. We're actually going to go through a little bit more in detail to show you guys all the different options, but here's how it essentially works. It's a left to right workflow when you're talking about importing. And what you do is you start with a source in the content area or preview area. You have an option of choosing different actions, whether you want to copy, move, or add these uh, images to the catalog without moving them. And then on the right side, we have the location, what we're going to, where we're going to put the images and how we're going to handle them, how we're going to, you know, kind of process and provide uh, those initial settings for those images. Okay, so let's start with our source, and what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to our folder where our images are at. If you guys purchase this DVD, then all of the fold, uh, all the images are actually contained inside of the catalog already. They're there for you. All the changes and everything are made inside the catalog, and it's there, done, and everything. But if you're importing new files, then this is how you're going to do it. So you're going to select the location where the images are. So they are in our Lightroom 4 A to Z training DVD folder on our hard drive, and then under Exercise Files and then under this originals. Now it brings up all of our images so we can see them in the preview. And now we choose an option. Do we want to copy these images to a new location? So it's going to leave them at the existing location and copy a set to a new location. Do we want to move them so it actually transfers them all? Or do you want to add them to the catalog without moving them? Which means that Lightroom is just going to add them, leaving them where they're at right now. Then it asks, where do we want them put to? Now, if you click add, then certain things are going to be removed. Like if you say add, then we know we're not having to uh, choose a new location. So this little location option goes away. It just asks how do you want to file handle and how do you want what, what do you want to apply during the import? What we want to do is actually move them and we're going to choose a destination. We're going to go through all the details as far as the different options in the next video. For now, I want to get just the basics of importing down. So we're going to choose a destination and what we're going to do is select the folder where we want it to go. So I'm going to put it inside of our let's see, projects, uh, it's in the Lightroom 4 A to Z training DVD folder, and then I want it to be inside of this LR4 A to Z catalog folder. So that way our images are actually stored inside of this folder. I'm going to put it into a subfolder, and I always name the folder where my original RAWs go, I name it 00 originals, so it's always at the top of the folder and it contains all of my original images. So now it's going to take all these images from this originals folder and it's going to transfer them to this folder and put them inside of 00 originals. Okay, so now let's click import. Now it brings them all into Lightroom and check this out. I'm going to go to my explorer or go to your uh, finder window and we're going to go back to the actual exercise folder and I'm going to show you what it did. So if I load this up, I can see the 00 originals is now empty. So I can actually delete this folder. And what it did was it put all of the images inside of our Lightroom A to Z catalog folder under 00 originals. Okay, so we've moved all of our images into our catalog folder. And the reason why that's important is because when I'm actually moving this catalog, when I'm say putting this catalog on a different machine, all I have to do is transfer the entire catalog itself. I just transfer this folder and it not only takes the catalog, it takes the images as well. So it's very easy to move jobs around just by transferring the entire folders. Also, by putting the originals inside of this catalog folder, 
it basically makes that location for originals a, a relative location. So what that means is if I change the name of this folder right here, well, it's not gonna break these links because Lightroom knows that, hey, this whatever this folder name is, it doesn't matter. My images are inside of 00 originals inside of this main folder. So basically any changes in this name are not gonna break the links to the images. So that's kind of our workflow. In the next tutorial, we're gonna go over the details of importing. And then later on, we'll talk about basically what are some kind of what could go wrongs in the importing process or with handling images and how to fix them.